In reading alone, the eyes follow the same path as the hand did in drawing it. And so when I'm working with lines, uh, both visually, virtually, in painting, um, or in the larger, the larger structures, uh, this is an ongoing, an ongoing um, idea for me. I moved to the Netherlands two years ago, where I uh, began my master's at the Frank Moore Institute. So since arriving in the Netherlands, I've been intuitively drawn towards uh, weaving and other material processes, and I've explored these movements of weaving and writing, both uh, trace-leaving movements, and I've explored that in uh, my paintings, with etching, but also in large-scale spatial works, uh, taking rope and twisting and knotting it to create these large architectural uh, structures that really capture the memory of my hands in making it. Um, and it also links back to my own journey and, and migration to, to be here. I'm at an important point in my work right now, working with a lot of different materials, um, with wool, with hemp, um, with various kinds of rope, but I'm seeking a greater contextual basis for, um, for working with these materials. And I want to go to places where uh, working uh, with these materials has been embedded for generations. Um, I was particularly drawn to, to Norway. Uh, in Norway, it's one of the few remaining functioning rope yards where you can go and learn how to make rope. Um, and I was also drawn to Finland, which has a real uh, center for lace making. And I'm, I'm intrigued where, where that would lead. Um, as you can see from my, my current spatial works, that, that was really uh, came out of the process of weaving and studying tapestry making. So I hope to bring this knowledge and these experiences back to the Netherlands to make something reflective of those traditions. I want to research further the, the history behind the current materials that I'm working with. This journey would have a significant impact upon me as a maker, opening up new skills uh, and new inspiration, but also new ways of thinking and ultimately giving me a much deeper connection to the materials that I'm working with.